Hey everybody, welcome to story time. It's mama. Welcome to another week of awesome stories, right? Thank you to everyone that joins in weekly, my wonderful weekly friends that are faithful and have been watching the story time for over a year and beyond. I, I'm just so grateful that you join in and hi to my new friends. Welcome. I'm so glad that you could join us. We try to do this every week, whether it's live or pre-recorded. And as you can tell, today is pre-recorded and I have a wonderful book for you. So while you're at it, please share this video, like it, give us some hearts, whether you're on YouTube, um, Instagram, Facebook, wherever you're at, like and subscribe all the stuff we do we've got so much amazing stuff happening and now that we're able to start doing more things in public you never know where we're going to pop up today i'm reading a great book called speak up and it is by miranda paul and ebony glenn i think this book is going to be great let's get started y'all ready to hear the story i am all right <sighs> There are times when we should be quiet. There are days for letting go. But when it matters and things seem important, speak up and let others know. It's like they're getting ready to go to school, get on the bus. Remember, there are some days we should be quiet and some days we should speak up. With so many ways to speak, like sign, a smile, or a shout, if we could make things better, why not let our words come out? Do you know sign language? Do you have a friend that maybe can't hear or speak and they use sign language to communicate? I do. And then sometimes just a smile, right? Or even a shout. When you're being introduced and they get your name all wrong, speak up, say your name, you are you and you belong, right? When somebody may get your name wrong, incorrect, just speak up and let them know. They may not have heard or maybe didn't understand or just maybe didn't know. Just speak up, say something. When someone spreads a rumor and you're sure it isn't true, speak up, state the facts. Truth can open our view. You know rumors, aren't always good. They're not, right? So if you hear a rumor and you of someone or something and it's not true, speak up about it. You should always clear the air, as we say, and let the truth be known. When a rule just isn't fair or has gotten much too old, speak up. Work for change. Justice comes when we are bold. I agree. Absolutely. Absolutely. Speak up. When a person wounds another just with their words and or with their fist, speak up. Be an ally. Safety comes when we persist. If you see someone who's lonely and they're having a bad day, just speak up, right? Like if you see someone hurting someone with their words, or maybe they push them down or hit them and it's not appropriate, speak up, say something about it, right? And then when somebody's like this poor, poor this boy here is alone, right? This person's alone and they're looking for a seat, speak up and say, come on over, sit with me. You don't have to be alone. You speak up, you share a moment of kindness and it goes a long way. Look at that. Look at that friend. I bet you they're going to make friends now. You know, sometimes when people are alone, they just need someone to say hi and, and include them. When you make a small mistake, even if you don't know, didn't know, speak up, say you're sorry, listen and learn and learn to grow. When you have a special day, you're giving something neat. You know what? When you make a mistake, say something, right? Say, oops. I'm sorry, I made a mistake, my bad. I'll try not to do that again. When you're having a special day on, um, on your given something neat, speak up, shout your thanks. Gratitude makes life so sweet. Thank yous are so important. When someone gives you something nice or says something nice to you or, or they just give you a smile, speak up and say thank you. Thank you. It's nice. 
When you're sad or packed with feelings, the world seems dark and gray. Speak up, ask for help. Friendship changes and chases clouds away. When trees and creatures suffer from our quick and careless choice. So if you're having a bad day and you're sad or you feel lonely or you're not happy, tell someone it's okay. Ask for help. A friend can chase a cloud away. So they can. You see, when trees and creatures suffer from the, our quick and careless choices, speak up. Rally others. Nature needs our mindful voices. And I have friends that do that. We have friends that they watch our, our story time sometime, right? My friend Mason, they do that. They go out and they help clean up nature and, and educate people on, on conservation. Sometimes you just need to speak up. When you know a scary secret and someone's getting hurt, speak up. Tell a grown up. Co courage sometimes means you blurt. Right? It's okay. If you know a scary secret, right? If you know something that someone's getting hurt, it's okay to talk about it. You should tell someone about it. Absolutely should tell someone about it. When a group is taking one path and you know it's not the way, Speak up, change directions. Leaders don't always obey. You know, when I started as mama and I started doing Rose Dynasty, I knew that there had to be a different way, right? There had to be a different way to do things. There had to be a different way to speak things. And I decided it was time to speak up and spread a message that everyone is loved, accepted, and wanted. And I did. I spoke up. And look what happens now. You see, when some people speak out up loudly, your words might whisper quiet. One voice can make a difference, so don't hesitate, right? Just one voice, one person can make a difference and change the world. There's so many people out there that have done that. Go try it. Change the world. That is amazing. And the moral of this story is there are some times that you should be quiet and there are days of just letting it go. But when it matters and it seems important, speak up and let others know. You know, I love this story. Everyone should get this by Miranda Paul and Ebony Glenn. Absolutely. Speak up. Let others know. Speak the truth. Tell people that they are loved, they're accepted, and they're wanted. That they don't have to be alone. That they could clean up, right? And help the world be a better place. There's so much things that people could do. I love you all so much. I'm so glad that you joined me and watched Storytime. Whether it's first broadcasting today or you're watching it in the future. I Love you, and you are love, accepted, and wanted. And don't forget, catch our story time every Sunday. We'll see you soon. Bye, everybody.